Hi everyone! So I am pretty sure you guys have been seeing these viral Asian makeovers. Well, mostly Chinese, where when the girls take off their makeup, it's like a different person. It's insane, it's mind-blowing. They go from zero to hundred like real quick. A little secret is it's 80% makeup and the rest is basically really fancy apps and filters. Um, I'm gonna show you all of that in this video. So first we'll do the makeup and then at the end I'll show you guys what app that they usually use to make their face look really small and doll-like. So if you guys are ready, I am ready, let's begin. So first, before I apply the makeup, I'm going to use a duct tape. This is what I'm gonna use to make my jawline look really snatched. This is gonna be my first time using a duct tape to lift up my face. I've used these professional face lifting tapes before. I have a whole video right here if you guys wanna check it out. Um, but yeah, I don't know how it's gonna hold. I'm really curious. If this works, it's gonna save me a lot of money. So let me just take a strip out and then cut them in two halves. Okay, let's do this guys. So I have the first strip and I am going to apply it like maybe right here on the chin, sticking pretty well, and then pull it back behind the ears. Ooh, okay, it's sticking pretty well. Not sure if I can see any difference. Let's try the other side. Oh, I do see a difference now. My face looks more V-shaped. Um, it is very uncomfortable. Feels like I'm wearing a neck brace. After the tape, I'm going to be using this primer plus sunscreen called Pun Protection. Um, so I've noticed that they use this to make their skin look really light and to match like their rest of their body with the face. But thanks to my Chinese friend, I actually have a lot of Chinese makeup products that I'll be showing you guys along this video. So this is the first one. I'm just gonna spray this on the back of my hand. Okay, and then start applying to my face and neck. Wow, do you guys see that? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna look like a grudge. I should just give you guys a heads up. This is not a grudge tutorial. I don't start my Halloween videos until September. It says it's a moisturizing spray, but my skin feels kind of dry. I just realized that I forgot to apply the nose and scar wax before the primer. I don't know if it's gonna stick well, um, but we'll give it a try. So I'm gonna be using the popular Ben Nye nose and scar wax. You guys have probably seen me use it on the tip of my nose, but this is the first time I'm actually going to make a whole nose bridge with it. So here is my nose and scar wax. I'm going to warm it with my hands, make them a little long. And with a prosade, I'm gonna stick this on. I'm really curious to see how it's gonna look. Press and then blend. Press, blend. Okay, so I'm done shaping it and now I'm just applying a little bit of makeup remover on top to seal the wax. For the foundation, I'm going to take Benefit's new Soft Blur Foundation. This is definitely not my shade, but I've noticed that they really like applying light foundation. So that's what I'm trying to follow. I feel like you can kind of see the edges of the wax right here, which is okay. I think contouring will make it look more natural. To do my brows, I have this cosmetic pencil. This is really popular in China. It kind of looks like those color pencils where you pull down and peel. Um, it's actually the same thing. So it says safe on skin. So let me go ahead and make some really straight brows because that is super desirable there. Okay, I'm just doing the outline first. Pretty much filled in. Now I'm just gonna make like some brow hair on the inner corners. I'm not sure if I like straight brows. It might look good on some people, but for me, I do like my little arch. Um, okay, so for the eyeshadow, I'm going to take Born to Run eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay and we're gonna use this eyeshadow. I'm gonna blend it all over the lids. The other eye. I've noticed that the Chinese eye makeup looks are kind of similar. They use a lot of pinks, reds, and oranges. So I'm just gonna use two eyeshadows. The first one is still shot, and the second one I might mix Baja and Hellride. Okay, so this is just for shading on the outer corners. Ooh, look at how pigmented that is. Um, now I have this double eyelid tape that I just picked up from Daiso. This is the easy peel and stick on double eyelid. So where do I want this? I want it a little bit above my actual crease. So right there. Guys, look at that. Look at how big my eyes are. 
I'm actually kind of surprised that it sticks on my makeup pretty well. I'm gonna do my eyeliner real quick. I'm using this new liner from LA Splash and it also has glitter on the end so I really like it. So finally I have the real DDK mascara in my hands and I am ready to use them on my lashes. After the lashes it's basically the lips and then we're going to put on the contacts and we'll see the final transformation. My bottom lashes are so short that sometimes when I put false lashes on the top I feel like they kind of look unbalanced so this mascara just does the trick for me. So these are the false lashes I'll be using. Um, these are from Lily Lashes and it's called Ash Comb. All right, so both of the lashes are on. They look so nice and full. Um, for the lips, I'm going to take a lip liner first from Maybelline. So it's this pink. Um, so let me just outline. I don't know if I wanna make my lips too big. I think I'll just make them like medium sized. Now this is a good size. And over it, I'm using this beautiful coral lip gloss from Makeup Forever. It's the Artist Plexi Gloss. Lastly, I put on my big circle lens, and this is my completed Chinese makeup transformation. So I got the V-shaped jawline, the tall nose, and the big bright eyes. I don't look like myself, so this is kind of weird, but wait till you guys see me in the app. So now I'm going to show you guys the app and do a reversal process of the makeup there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching till now and enjoy the rest. So this is the app. It's called Me Too. I press on the camera and then go to the filter options. Um, you want to click on the face. So when you do that, you can swipe side to side. And look at that. My face looks like an alien now. It's so tiny and my eyes look so big. Um, you can go back and make it wide again. So yeah, these type of apps are very popular in Asia. Oh my gosh, look at me. I look so cute. I look like a doll and kind of like an ant too. Okay, now I'm ready to show you guys the reverse transformation. Oh my god, that is so nasty. There's like white stuff in there. 